What's up everyone? It's Lee here, the rental guy from the shop. Uh, you know the shop. If you've been here, you know the spiel. If you haven't been here before, four years ago, four and a half years ago, I started a party rental business from the garage of my house and I have since grown it to become what it is in these vlogs that you see today. Uh, follow my tips and tricks or my learning experience, shall I say, to uh, do like me. Let's do this together. Let's get into it. This week we made about $5,100 and we currently have 17 orders out right now. What are those orders? Tablecloths and round tables to candles and folding tables and cocktail tables and cotton candy machines and hot dog machines and folding chairs and disco ball and kids folding picnic tables, bar height metal stools, um, appetizer plates. So that kind of stuff has been out this week, not to mention uh, the tentage, it's a 40 by 60 marquee tent and a bunch of littles. Anyways, last tent of the year. I just finished putting half of it up today. So this year we did a lot of tents. Here are all the tents that we did. many of the tents went out well um since we this year all that we did was marquee tents and pop-up tents and strung them together to make bigger sizes um i can tell you how many of the marquees went out to make bigger sizes uh, 20 by 30 marquee tents uh we had 47 of those go out this year so the profit on uh, 47 20 by 30 marquee tents, no delivery, no walls, no anything is $26,050.71. 20 by 40, we had eight 20 by 40 tents go out. You know, you're probably asking, well, why did you only have eight of those tents going out? It's because we purchased them halfway through the year and we didn't add them to our website uh, until recently. So that's what happens if you don't add items to your uh, event rental website in advance, well, then they won't have the chance to go out. But, uh, you know, we those were what we added this year. We added uh, three 20 by 40 tents so that we can make 40 wide structures. And so, yeah, eight times for a profit of $4,699.10. Uh, again, no walls, no delivery, no nothing with that. So just the raw tent, uh, 4,600 bucks. So 20 by 20 marquee tents, uh, 12 times for a profit of $3,994.90. Now let's get into our pole tents. So our pole tents, we carry canopy pole tents. Um, with our canopy pole tents, we don't go out and set those ones up. So they're actually for customer pickups. Uh, we have a 20 by 20 canopy pole tent, which went out once for $347.66. Again, not the walls. Our 20 by 30 canopy pole tent pickup customer, no deliveries or anything, went out uh, two times for a profit total of uh, $1,232.50. Again, customer pickup only. Our 20 by 40 pole tent, canopy pole tent, went out two times for a profit of $1,785. Again, no walls. 10 by 10 pop-up tents went out 42 times for a profit total of $4,400, $4,401.36. Heavy duty uh, pop-up tent went out 54 times for $11,537.66. And 10 by 20 Steel Professional, which is a lighter grade pop-up tent, went out three times for a total of $594 profit. Now remember, tent is a gateway item. With every, uh, you know, one of these tent rentals, there was probably walls, there was probably gutters, there was probably uh, tables, chairs, speakers, linens, uh, deliveries, um, patio heaters, uh, bistro lights, you name it, uh, would have been on the order. So each one of these was an event in itself. And so this is just the bare bones pricing of the tents going out. So you can grasp, you know, what kind of uh, things you can, you know, what you can look forward or you can grasp how my company is doing and then kind of compare my numbers to yours and see uh, if it makes sense. So. Today is Monday, there's returns. Everything's coming back, so that's why you see all these pallets on, these chairs on pallets, because uh, they just came back from customers and they'll be going in and going up here. It's 
Tuesday, picked up a 30 by 40 tent. And uh, back at the shop here, my wife is uh, doing linens. There's still lots of linens going out and we're just prepping for our last tent of the year, a 40 by 60 going up at the end of the week. Um, we have a pickup every day. It's uh, a 10K week or eight, eight, five, 8,500. I think we added a few more on there and uh, that's the day. Pretty boring stuff, but amazing. Just trying to get organized in the shop as well. I'm a little obsessed, but I added another uh, computer to the front screen there, to the front screen, to the front uh, of the building here. And so that, uh, you know, when people are coming to pick up, as people often do, uh, we're able to check them out here or check on orders right at the front as well. All right, so it's uh, September, late September, almost October. This is the second last tent of the year and uh, there's not much staff, right? So to set up this tent, I hired uh, one labor service guy to come with me, but you know, traveling four hours out of town with you know some stranger is not ideal. So the weather's nice, so I didn't have to hire one. I could do this takedown easily by myself with a few tools. I've got my tent lift tool and I've got my tent jack just in case the wind picks up, which there is supposed to be 45 kilometer per hour gusts. So we'll see how that goes. because uh you know the palm trees but um you know i want to get there and i want things to be already stacked for me and ready so before i go this is the email that i sent so i'll read you off the email that we sent to the customers so on my rental program called bookable there's email templates uh, this one's just automated so as soon as i click the template items do for pickup then it automatically populates with all the information Hello, blah, blah, blah. We hope you enjoyed your event and our rentals. This is a reminder that we will be picking up your rentals. Here is what you need to know. If you have a scheduled and exact pickup time, our driver will arrive at blah, blah, blah. Please be ready to greet them and direct them to the rentals. If you have booked a regular pickup within our scheduled route, we are set to arrive anytime between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. to pick up your rentals. Our driver will text you 30 minutes before they arrive. Please make sure your phone is on and that you reply to their message. Please have the rentals in the same place where we drop them off. Please wipe and stack the rentals before we, before we arrive. This will help us load them quickly and safely. Rentals that are dirty and are not stacked may incur additional fees. Our cleaning fees start at $50 and our stacking fee is $1.50 per item. Any fees will be charged to the credit card you use to pay for the rental. You do not have to be around for us to receive the rentals. However, you will be responsible for the safety of the rentals until our team has officially picked them up. Please ensure that we have access to the rentals when we arrive. If we have to wait more than 15 minutes, we will charge a labor rate of $25 every 15 minutes. This is to avoid delays in our pickup routes. If you have any questions or concerns, please uh, call or text our office at blah blah blah. Thank you for choosing us for your rental needs. And uh, that seems to do the trick, right? There's enough scare tactics in there, um, you know, and enough information. It's good. Today is Tuesday. There is uh, a few returns, one or two pickups, and then just random work. So when you have time, you video demo every product that you can, whether it's big or whether it's small, because uh, if you just leave it, you'll never get around to it. So um, I try to make a little video uh, specific to everything. So um, on Tuesday, I made a video for Wacky Inflatable Tube Man, put it on the website um, and you know, people need to know. Today I wanted to show you our 20 foot wacky inflatable tube man or sky dancer. We have this thing for rent. So all you have to do is just plug it in and then turn it on. So this guy stands 20 feet high. It's sure to grab the attention from uh, anyone. If you're uh, basically need to get noticed, you need a wacky inflatable tube man or a sky dancer from 306 Party Rentals. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Welcome to another day at the rental shop. Today, well, we're washing chairs. We're always washing chairs around here. Talk too loud around the white resin 
folding chairs or they're gonna get dirty. They're very temperamental. What's up guys, it's Thursday and uh, the weather has recently changed for the day that we have a tent install planned. So as I say in my delivery schedules and so forth that, uh, you know, things are pending weather. So we always try to come earlier, but sometimes we have to switch days. So uh, this is what I normally send the customers. And then today I'm gonna have to call them and let them know that we're bumping their tent set up to uh, one day earlier so that we can skip some rainy weather. Hi, blah, blah, blah. This is your updated official delivery schedule for your booking through 306 Party Rentals. Please read this email carefully as it contains up-to-date information regarding your booking. Please note that our team will arrive on Saturday to set up the tent instead of Sunday due to the weather forecast change. Also, I would like to meet you on site too, today to discuss the placement of the tent. Are you available for a meetup? Back to the thing. Listed on the attached invoice below are the items that our team is set to bring. Please double check this invoice to make sure that there aren't any items missing. Important, if you've not sent the confirmation email from your line locate provider, you must do so now as we cannot install our tent stakes without clearance to stake the tent. If your delivery applies to any of the below examples, please reach out to us as soon as possible. We may need to bring more staffing, schedule more time on our route, or bring additional transport gear to make delivery seamless and additional charges may apply. If there isn't direct access, if there isn't direct drive-up access or sufficient parking available directly in front of the drop-off area, if there are stairs or elevators that may require our team to make multiple trips, if there are over 50 feet of distance between the area where the delivery vehicles parked and where the rentals must go, if there are any entrance fees to enter the delivery area, such as parking fees, we have your delivery address set as blah, 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 Anticipated delivery time, blah, blah, blah. Please note that the time has a four hour window and can be up to two hours prior or two hours after the time and date posted above. Before our team arrives, prep the area. The four corners of the tent area will have to be pre-marked upon our arrival so that we know exactly where the tent will go. It can be marked with white spray paint or household items. Please make sure the tent install area has direct drive up access and freshly mowed grass, free of debris and obstructions to ensure our team can safely install the tent. Note, please let me know if there isn't direct drive up access to the tent area as additional charges may apply in this case. Delivery instructions, nothing. Contact 30 minutes prior to the delivery, blah, blah, blah. Your actual event date is blah, 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 pickup date. Please know that we will arrive to pick up the rentals on the date posted above and not the time. Please have your rentals stacked and ready for an easy pickup in a secure location as you are responsible for the renters until our team arrives for pickup. Rentals that are dirty and not stacked may incur additional fees. Our cleaning fees start at $25 and our stacking fee is $5 per item. Any fees will be charged to the credit card used to pay for your initial rental. Please ensure that we have access to the rentals when we arrive. If we have to wait for more than 15 minutes, we will charge a labor rate of $25 every 15 minutes. This is to avoid delays in our pickup routes. If you have any questions or concerns about the pickup, please text us at blah, blah, blah customer pickups instructions for our team. Nothing. No, if any of these details are incorrect, please reach out to by email and submit the changes needed in writing so we can apply them without fault. Please submit to blah, 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 Lee Jones. And that's what we send to customers. That's the delivery schedule that we send the, the Sunday prior to the event. Is it working? So. It's working. But I can't send it with that picture. Well, Thursday and Friday is a series of multiple pickups. There's uh, people that always pick up. Our pickup times are between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. And then we do our deliveries in the afternoon. If anyone wants exact time arrival, they have to pay extra for that because it interrupts our schedule. Um, so we always have concentrated pickups between 10 and 1. So Saturday, uh, Saturday, I finally set up the 40 by 60 tent. And this is how the setup went. And yeah. All right, let's talk about tent work for a minute here because uh, booking out of town can be quite tedious uh, because you can't forget anything. Uh, you know, you have to bring guys for multiple hours and pay them for travel as well, uh, possibly multiple vehicles. If you're doing something in town, you can get the same job done uh, for relatively the same price, uh, maybe a thousand or two, a uh, few thousand dollars less, but you don't have you don't have much of the same planning, organization, loss of time that goes into it during travel. Um, for instance, I've got a, 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 just a 40 by 60 with weights in town today, um, and I'm kind of stretching it out, right? I've got three labor ready guys helping me, so I'm dropping stuff off at the event first, um, and then, you know, things will be dropped at the event, so I can do another trip to go pick them up. Yesterday, I dropped off weights because uh, I did the weights separately on the load, but if this was out of town, 
well then I would have had to, you know, try to get everything inside of two vehicles. Um, I would have to pay massive amounts of overtime uh, just for the travel on top, depending on how far it is. Um, yeah, so someone contacted me for a tent an hour and a half away in 15 days. And I didn't quote them on it because realistically, it could be a potential nightmare because in our city and around here, it gets quite cold. It could potentially be snowing. Um, you know, if it's weights, well then the weights, uh, you know, so many nightmarish things come in, come in and then you end up almost losing money if you don't properly plan for these things. So, um, you know, my main goal and focus is to do the least amount of out of town uh, gigs as possible. So I've been raising my price way up for uh, mileage because you need to supplement supplement the cost of that because it's uh, uh, the work gets heavy. You can turn what you can get done in one day in town into uh, you know three four days out of town. You know another thing is as I get towards the end of the season, uh, you know my patience is probably one thread left, and my wife's patience is probably no threads left because she deals with the customers more so now. I just kind of make the end calls and write the emails and do the end goal dealing with the customers because you give customers an inch and they take a mile and they really, really do, right? So yes, you want to give great service to everyone and you want to go out of your way, but when you are starting to deal with mass amounts of customers, they always have a special request and if they want that special request, I mean, you have to be kind of vanilla and just always play it by the book, you know? Oh, they want this. Well, then they have to, so, oh, a friend wants to book. Well, then they have to leave their credit card on file and they get charged if they're late or they're never going to return, you know? Um, if someone wants something delivered at a specific time, they have to pay that extra uh, time charge or else you're going to find yourself having to go out of your way and you've got other orders going on. And so you got to stay vanilla and stay by the book. Um, or else you'll be wavering too much and then you'll not be able to stay organized. So unfortunately, it's hard to give really, really good service um, to people. You just give by the book good service so that they don't take advantage of you. And they will. Of course, off season comes and you soften up a little bit, right? Um, and you can because you aren't as busy in off season or I'm not, I don't know where you're from. But, you know, you want these gigs more, right? You be nice to people. You uh, do special special circumstances just for them. Um, but, you know, they might come to expect that again and again, right? So just be mindful that, uh, you know, everyone is always out to get something for free. Um, whether they know it or they don't know it. Also, Lee, reminder to yourself. Next year, do not hire staff that are friends because they will wander together and do a one person task with three, four people. If they're all four group of friends, it's bad, bad. I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, stay tuned for more videos and you know, click into this video right here because you might damn dang enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. You stay classy. Click in the videos. What are you doing? Click. <laughs>